So Slash is pre-solo now uh, here on House Play Guitar as we continue Night Train. This is where it starts to get super complex uh, and the solo starts to kick in. Izzy's got a solo. Um... <laughs> Anyway, we'll get to all of that right now. Uh, Slash's solo is pretty complicated, so let's get straight into that. There's loads to go through here. So we start off with this um, part one of Slash's solo, the first solo, uh, and it's a third finger and a fourth finger, and you're doing a full bend on the ninth. And a slightly lesser bend and then a half bend you do the same again and then you're sliding up to this 11th with the third finger so that's a nice arpeggio so slide up to the 11th then this 12th fret is a full bend and then when you press, press this down pick here you're catching the B string on the 12th as well like that and then 10th the 12th and this this is the kind of Chuck Berry section that everyone refers to here so the 10th doubling here so so it's like that and then nice little uh, pattern there very kind of uh, chilled uh, and then we're jumping up for this really fast bit and then this next bit is so slowly you're on the 17th fret here and then and then it's the second finger And then you slide down, and it's a dead note. Bend up, slide down there. Switch to the neck pickup here. This gets very, very involved. Uh, parallel sixths, uh, very beautiful section, but very tough to play. On the seventh fret there. So second and third finger with the dead note in the middle. So just running it through slowly, 7th and 7th, down, so just slide that up, no uh, second pick there, and then dead notes, and then you do this, 2nd and 1st finger, 11th and 10th, going back to the 9th, 6th and 5th, and then, and as you're sliding down to those second frets, switch the bridge pick up again, and then you're going to this new shape. So I'll run you through that. So fourth fret, and then over to the third finger, third and fourth, full bend here. First and fourth, very hard to get back for that. And then, and then you slide down here and do a pinch harmonic. Pretty difficult, I must say, but awesome. Then you've got this little um, continuation of the solo here before we go back to the return. There's two ways you can play this. Now in the early days, Slash used to do it like this. But recently he's upgraded that to go so 
So I would recommend the new way. Uh, the picking pattern he uses is up, down, up. So. And then same again. So those are the downs. And then same again. So there's a little slide bit here as well, which I wouldn't recommend doing if you're playing live. I mean, you can hear it on the album, on the seventh frets here. The slide is used. Um, but you're not going to get a slide out just for that um, little section here, because you do double pick and then slide. Uh, what Slash does every time he plays live, though, is he plays the bottom note of this chord. So he goes... And then does harmonics with these three notes. Which is really cool and shakes the neck. So, before you get to the uh, epic return, anyway, we'll get to that intro return uh, in another lesson. But thanks for watching so far. Uh, our Guns N' Roses lesson on Night Train, which is turning out to be an epic. Um, but we'll go through the intro return in our next lesson.